A North Texas man charged with participating in the U.S. Capitol riot made his first appearance in federal court today. Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Larry Brock is one of dozens of suspects the FBI identified from video and images taken inside the Capitol. Fox 4's Alex Boyer was in court for Brock's initial appearance. Alex. Good afternoon. You know, that hearing lasted all of five minutes. Larry Brock was escorted into the courtroom by two uh, U.S. Marshals. A judge then determined that he does qualify to have a court-appointed attorney. Brock was then uh, ordered to be held in the custody of the U.S. Marshals until his probable cause and detention hearing, which is scheduled for this Thursday. Cameras weren't allowed inside the federal courthouse in Fort Worth for Larry Brock's initial appearance Monday. But this mugshot released by the Grapevine Police Department shortly afterwards shows how Brock looked at the time of the brief hearing. His hands were cuffed in front of his black t-shirt, his legs shackled around his jeans. The retired lieutenant colonel in the Air Force Reserves was identified by his ex-wife as the man photographed and captured on surveillance video wearing combat gear and carrying white flex cuffs on the Senate floor during the January 6 Capitol riot. The arrest affidavit quoted Brock's ex-wife who reportedly called the FBI National Threat Operations Center as saying in part, I just know that when I saw this was happening, I was afraid he would be there. It goes on to say, it is such a good picture of him and I recognize his patch. There's a, a wealth of potential criminal offenses in addition to the two that they charged that would be available. Richard Roper is a former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Texas. Roper says the video evidence will be key in prosecuting these types of cases. It nails down the identity of the perpetrator. According to the affidavit filed in the District of Columbia, Brock is charged with one count of knowingly entering or remaining in a restricted building or grounds without lawful authority and one count of violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Both are federal charges. So there's two charges, essentially, uh, essentially a criminal trespass type charge. Um, and it's, it's essentially being in a location where you weren't authorized to be. Both of those charges, interestingly, are misdemeanor charges, meaning that the punishment range would be less than one year in prison unless uh, someone carries a dangerous weapon. And Brock's attorney did not have any comment after today's hearing, but he did tell me that after Thursday's hearing, the case will be turned over to the courts in uh, the District of Columbia, since that is where the alleged crimes took place. We'll keep you posted. Back to you.